Developmental trauma changes the way your body and brain talk to one another, and I'm going to give you three neuroscience-backed reasons why. I'm Jenna. I'm a molecular and clinical neuroscientist and a licensed therapist, and I study the way your brain and body communicate with one another through stress and immune signals and how those conversations shape your physical and mental health. And I teach you how to reset this dialogue to reclaim clarity, calm, and lasting vitality without spending years or hundreds of thousands of dollars on treatments that don't work. If you want to learn the science behind rewiring your brain and body from the cellular level all the way up through your daily behavior so that you can finally see change in the struggles that you've been dealing with for a long time. Trauma lives in the brainstem and in the subcortical parts of the brain, the deeper parts of your brain that are not accessed through talking about it. The brainstem is the body's oldest operating system and it's involved in the fight, flight, freeze responses and survival states that the body can go into without thinking. Unresolved stress and childhood trauma disrupt sensory input into the insula, which makes it hard for you to feel your own body, your own emotions, your own sensations. And so mental health is determined by how well the brain is communicating with itself, both at a vertical, in a vertical direction from the lower parts of the brain to the upper parts of the brain and horizontally, which establishes and contributes to your sense of self, your sense of well-being in the world. And when those parts of the brain don't communicate well, it can create physical and mental health issues and diagnoses. Third, chronic stress floods afferent nerve pathways from the body up to the brain, distorting how those signals travel to the brain. So the fix is to learn how to listen to your body and not override it. So much of what self-help therapists, coaches, teachers are talking about is how to override these signals and these pathways. It's not actually the answer if you want long-term change and long-term growth. Those are fine can be fine in the short term and to help you cope and regulate, but they're not actually going to heal these things at the root. The trick is to learn how to speak the language of your nervous system. And so stress rewires our body's sensory map, and that will affect everything from your f mood, your focus, and all the behaviors you tend to exhibit on a day-to-day -day basis are rooted in your nervous system. So if you want practical ways to retrain your body and your brain's communication pathways, comment reset below for a link to a free course for you. It's got a nervous system quiz where you can determine where your nervous system is hanging out, why you might be stuck, and what to do about it. I give you short two to five minute practices that you can implement very easily on a daily basis to start to help you get a sense of what it might feel like to be a little bit more embodied. And for those of you with childhood trauma, you might have never experienced what it feels like to feel a little bit more embodied in this way. And so it might be totally new for you. So comment reset below and let me know how this shows up for you in the comments. I'm curious and I'll see you there.